Yo, what is up guys? It's Ali your Tech Vision HD back at you with another video. So the other day I was walking through Walmart and stumbled upon these two products, the On Gaming Mouse and RGB Mouse Pad. The mouse is $19 while the mouse pad is $15. I haven't seen a review of these on YouTube yet, so I decided to buy these products so you wouldn't have to. When it comes to unboxing the mouse pad, it does a pretty good job at being a box with a mouse pad inside. It also lets you feel the material before you purchase it. Inside, you get the mouse pad and a quick start guide, as well as a 6 feet micro USB cable with an angled port. The mouse pad is made of fabric and is set to be optimized for tracking, and it does provide a smooth glide with some resistance. The back of the pad has a rubber backing which keeps the mouse pad in place and it never moves. The size of the pad is 25cm by 35cm and has no bigger counterpart. The pad does not come with a software, but actually has a dedicated button to cycle through the 10 modes. 7 are static and 3 are dynamic. I find them all to look very nice, especially with the mouse. One of the modes does not catch my eye though, but all in all, it's a good mouse pad for $15. This box feels a lot more premium and you actually get to see the mouse before you purchase it, which is a nice touch if you want to see if it fits in your hand. Inside you find another quick start guide, the mouse itself, and get this, a CD with the software. More on that later. So the build quality of the mouse is not what you would expect for $20. It is actually surprisingly well built with a great structure. It does come with some hiccups though, such as the grips kind of being loose and coming off when I first opened it. But when I put it in place, it didn't seem to come out after that. The mouse actually has a matte finish and the grips do feel good once you get used to them. And it doesn't have any noticeable branding, just on the bottom where it can't be seen. The body has a length of 12.7cm as well as a width of 7cm and a height of 4cm. It is also very comfortable to hold with all grip types, especially palm gripping. The shape is ambidextrous and sort of looks like the death adder. Though it has a great shape, I weighed the mouse in at just under 110 grams, which is quite heavy as lightweight mice are a lot better. The clicks are nice and give good feedback and I haven't had a problem with them. They basically don't have any post and pre-travel. They are also rated around 3 million clicks. The side buttons are also big and easy to press, but I feel like the mouse button 5 or the upper of the two mouse buttons doesn't have a good response to my clicks. I saw this in game when I tried to place a stare in Fortnite or use melee in COD, but that could just be a model issue. Something I know is not a model issue is the middle mouse button click. It is actually quite hard to press down and doesn't have as good of a response to the clicks as well. The scroll wheel is more smooth and you can't really feel designated steps. The mouse has an optical sensor which uses a red light to scan the surface. The mouse feet are pretty generic and need to wear down a bit due to sharp edges. The cable on the mouse is braided and is very durable, but is also very stiff and gets the job done. It also also comes in at just 6 feet. Now I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a disc reader or an optical drive in my computer, but luckily my home computer did, so I had to move the file from the CD into a flash drive, which I just plugged into my PC and extracted it. But I'll be nice, unlike Walmart, and leave the software download down below. The recording of the software got corrupted, so I can't show you the software for the mouse, but it's fairly self-explanatory except the RGB part. You have to click and highlight the entire mouse before you get into the RGB interface. So anyways, here are all the modes. So basically, for the final thoughts, I decided that this mouse is a decent mouse for $20. It isn't too special, but I feel like it is kind of outdated since it's not lightweight. For just $10 or more, you can get a SteelSeries Rival, or for $15 or more, you can get a Razer Viper Mini, which I think is a lot better of a deal. But if you do like more heavyweight mice that have a decent build quality, and you have a strict budget of $20, then this mouse could be your next mouse.